Now, in this tutorial, we're just going to have a quick look at applying lighting to a particular room. Um, this is just primarily concerned with placing a few types of lights. We're not going to be overly concerned about uh, circuiting just yet. So, uh, first of all, we are going to pop on to a ceiling plan. Now, um, this is where we're going to be putting our lights. Um, this reflected ceiling plan is an absolutely uh, common feature in design. Anyway, so what we're going to do is go into our place a component command here. And I have this, well, it's loaded up by default, but it's way too big. So what I'm going to do is load up another item here. So if I go to lighting, architectural, internal, uh, there should be a few pendants here. So, okay, I'm just going to grab this one here. So just double click on this and uh, I'll just pop this in maybe here and here. So those have now been placed on the ceiling. And if we have a look back in the 3D view, you can see them there and there. I'm not saying they're the most pretty thing in the world, but they're there. Now we also have the ability to drop in sconces. So again, uh, place a component and load a family. Uh, again, back into lighting internal. So where to go? Lighting architectural internal, and we have a couple of sconces we can choose from. So there we go. So that one's quite nice. Now this one is a little bit strange. It, ha it will be hosted on um, uh, a wall, but it's quite difficult to pick up where it's it's going to be. Well, you, it's due due to view clipping and things like that. You don't see it very well. Uh, you can change that if you like. Anyway, so I'm just going to pop one in here. That's the error saying I can't see it. And here. So it says there, none of the elements... There we go. None of the elements are visible, blah, 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 blah. You may want to check uh, active view parameters and visibility settings. So they have gone in. Uh, obviously, we can't see them. But if we look uh, at the view itself, so I'm just going back to the floor plan. And somewhere in here in the view range, I can change this. So cut plane is there, bottom is zero. Um, if I change the cut plane to a thousand, what's that gonna look like? Nope, still can't see them. Um, maybe if I change it up to apply that. Yeah, there we go. If I push the, the cut plane up a bit, you can see them there now. So Again, you can just move these things around. So that one's at 360, make it 400 off of that edge for no other reason than other I can. I can and try and center this a bit there. Yeah. So I'm going to just grab this one here and put it to there. Um, that one could probably get moved a little bit so we can try and center it a bit in that space. Close enough. And ditto on this, so I'm just going to grab, just picking references. That's yeah, 60 mil, it's fine. Um, so now if we have a look in a 3D view, uh, back to the camera, we can see those sconces there. And if we want to adjust the height, we can grab those and the elevation is set here. So I can change this for the sake of argument uh, to 1500. Click apply and you'll see that drop down. So that's how that gets changed. Finally, we can put in some floor standing lights. So I'm going to go on to a floor plan for this. And uh, again, back into component, place a component, load family, uh, back into lighting yet again, architectural, internal. And we can just try and find one of these. That's a table lamp, um, yeah, a couple of floor lamps here. So why don't we just pop that one in? And uh, just to be a little bit weird, I'll just put it here. And then what we can do is rotate it to where we want it to be. So, oh, that's not, one would have thought that it'd be a bit more useful rotating from the base, but anyway. Um, now I'll just move it to about here. So that should be really annoying for whoever's sitting in the area. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, that's a mess. That's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Um, I just noticed that I have this going the wrong way. That's the base over there. So I'll just rotate this completely like that. Um, I 
Actually, I'm just rotate it again and put it over here. There we go. So that'll be really, really. Uh, there we go. So that's that light in. Um, okay. Now, once we hit this point here, we can uh, run off uh, an internal render um, locally. So I have this now running. I'm just going to go into the view tab and click on render. Now, the things we need to do here are, well, I'm going to leave it a draft at the moment and send it to screen, uh, primarily for speed. Uh, NVIDIA Mental Ray is, is really quite, quite good, so we're going to leave that one on. Now, in terms of here, in relation to the lighting, currently it is exterior sun only, and that's not of any use to us. What we actually want is interior. Now we can do that sun and artificial, but I really just want to see the effect of the lighting as I've set it up here. So I'm going to go artificial only on the interior. Um, sun settings are not going to matter anymore. Now under this one, in terms of artificial lights, we can turn on the lighting fixtures uh, as we want them here. So I'm going to leave them all turned on. Um, we're not going to do, well, we can't adjust the exposure yet anyway and then click the render button and this is going to go off and uh, create that and you'll see there it's found 11 lights so um, here we go 11 is actually a bit high, we'll see what it comes up with uh, it just takes a few seconds to run this off in draft mode so typically about I don't know, about 30 to 45 seconds it's, it's done the first pass tends to be just uh, gathering its, uh, its information, it's all black, and in the second pass uh, it'll start showing you some image. So this will be done pretty quickly now. There we go. And you can see it's starting to emerge in. Um, now, you know, a couple of things you'll see here. The windows are, are black. There's no light outside the building. Uh, we're getting some a bit of effect from this here being cast on the ceiling. So there are these kind of vent holes here which are casting light up there. We can see the sconces in action. Uh, I've also noticed that the material on the fireplace is not very nice. Now, it is very dark, so what we can do is adjust the exposure. And uh, you'll see there, you can just brighten that up and apply it. So that will start to bring that up a bit. Um, and we can start to see that in operation. So it's not too bad. Again, we can see the effects of what's going on. Um, we can also change, well, there's a quite a, 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 there's quite a color cast on this. If we look at the white point on this, it is a very warm image, and that's because these are all incandescent lights, so I can cool that down a bit there, maybe, and hit apply. Um, so maybe about there, and you can also increase the saturation on the colors a little bit, just to, not to that anyway, um, just to, to punch it up a bit. So there's some basic adjustments you can do inside in Revit itself, but ideally push this into Photoshop or GIMP or something like that and it'll work fine. So I'm going to click OK on all those. Uh, a thing to remember is um, when you've done this is to save to project. And what this will do is save this rendered image into a rendering there. If you don't do that, when you click on show the model or make any adjustment, it'll be, it just disappears and you won't get to keep it. So clearly you don't want that happening. All right, the final thing to do is to get a schedule of these things out. So what we're going to do now is create a schedule, schedule and quantities. Again, sitting there in the view tab. And uh, we're going to go for lighting fixtures. So in here we have lighting fixtures. And typically what we're going to do is go for family and type like that. And we can grab some other types of information here. So illuminance can come off it, um, electrical data, uh, efficiency, and all of this information here. It depends whether or not it's actually been set. Uh, count can be good as well. We'll see why in a moment. So there we go. We have that created. Uh, the luminance value is given. No electrical data. A little bit of efficiency there. 
Um, one of the things that can be quite useful is to uh, group these together and show an actual count. So if I go into sorting and grouping here, incidentally these five buttons, they do exactly the same thing. They just start up this dialog in a different location. So what I'm going to do is first sort by family and type. Uh, and I'm going to turn off itemize every instance. And when I click OK on that, we now have uh, the counts being shown there. And again, uh, finally, we're going to put this on a sheet. So I'll grab this information, to go, just go to the sheet. I'm going to grab the lighting fixture schedule, pop it onto the sheet, uh, maybe drag that out a bit. Um, we can also do things like uh, bring in our reflected ceiling plan. So that will pop in here. Uh, obviously, there's not a lot showing on it. Uh, that floor lamp shouldn't be appearing, so we'll just have to hide that. And uh, let's see, what else do I want? I suppose it might be a good idea to pull in a render just to, to see it there. So there we go. So we can see uh, what's going on. Now, just in relation to a correction on this, uh, I'm just going to go on to the ceiling plan. Very simple fix. Grab this element, hide in view element. It's now gone. If I go back to my sheet, there it is. So that'll work there. All right. Thank you very much.